fascism. I just I just want to talk about this a little bit. I you know, I'm not saying that Donald Trump is a fascist. And 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 Lindbergh did clean up his act during and after World War II. And so, he, you know, he may have been a well-intentioned guy who just thought, you know, hey, we don't want to get involved in foreign wars. So George Washington said beware of foreign entanglements. But that said, there's something going on here. And and there's something going on here specifically with Donald Trump and his candidacy. When you see people showing up at rallies and behaving like brown shirts and beating people up, when you when you see a rally of Trump supporters where if a small number, a single woman uh, with with brown skin wearing a hijab standing there saying, you know, with a sign that says something like Muslims for peace. I forget exactly what her sign said, but it was not offensive. It was not an anti-Trump sign. And they yelled at her and, and shoved her out and dragged her out. It, it, when, you see, when you see people of color being re- forcibly removed, I mean, this is authoritarianism of the first order. John Dean uh, the, of Watergate fame, the former lawyer to Richard Nixon, wrote a brilliant book called Conservatives Without a Conscience that talks about this whole authoritarian mindset. And now that you know, it's increasingly looking like the Republican nominee is going to be Donald Trump. And, you know, this is a topic that next Wednesday, you know, a week from yesterday, we will take on at considerably more length because if Trump wins the Indiana primary next Tuesday, he's going to be pretty much unstoppable on the Republican side. And the Republicans are figuring this out. The whole, you know, Ted Cruz, Carly Fiorina thing was, uh, you know, clearly a a Hail hail Mary pass. Back in the 19-teens or 1920s, was it Sinclair Lewis or was it, I think it was Sinclair Lewis, who wrote, it can't happen here. And it was about Buzz Winthrop, who was this guy who became president of the United States, very much like Donald Trump, you know, with this all-American slogan and all this kind of stuff. An American first, you know, uh, and, and, you know, I, I got nothing wrong with having a foreign policy and a trade policy that does literally put the interests of America first. But when you start using that old rhetoric and you start using the, you know, and yes, we're going to have big rallies and we're going to throw people out of the rallies and we're going to beat people up and we're going to condone violence and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. It's, it's troubling, shall we say. To watch more clips from our programs, hit the watch more videos button over here. And please be sure to hit the handy dandy subscribe button. So you'll always be up to date. Tag, you're it.